for those of you who don't eat meat, we're going to do a vegetarian one today. I know, I know what you're saying, but a vegetarian one meaning we've got potatoes here, all these things, coriander, tomatoes, chilies, garlic, ginger, onions, red uh, peppers, and we're going to put eggs in as well. So eggs and potato. Okay, so stay with me. We'll be making that shortly. Right, we're beginning to start now. Half a cup of oil and in go all the ingredients there. Onions are going straight in. So we'll put these on heat now. Right, the tomatoes, everything in fact. Tomatoes, garlic, ginger, green chilies all gone into the oil because really I mean it's not like cooking meat so it's gonna, not going to take ages so basically everything goes in straight away uh, just slightly let it go brown Okay, the lid's banged on, just let them steam up a bit. Cool. Okay, the, there you have it. You've got half a teaspoon of salt going in now. Stir that in. Wait till the onions go brown a little bit. Okay, next we're going to put this stuff in called basar. Um, this has chili powders, tomato powders, turmeric powder, garam masala, all ready mixed. Everything is already pre-mixed in this. You can buy it from most Asian shops and it's called basar. We will be putting a heaped tablespoon full in. So we'll be putting some ground coriander in as well. You can buy this from any, most Asian shops, they all sell it. There you go. Here we go, giving it another stir. Uh, the colour is slowly changing now. Okay, time for the dried coriander one teaspoon going in and a tablespoon just have a look at that tablespoon of basar that's a ready mix of everything in it okay give it a stir and there you go the colour changed Uh, half a half a cup of uh, water gone in there as well, just to make that little sauce. The potatoes have gone in. Right, there we go. Give them a good stir now. Uh, the rest of this is uh, sweet peppers, the spring onions, this coriander. It's all going in. There we go, give it a stir again. Now we're getting a bit different colours now, reds and yellows and greens. Okay. Put the lid back on for about 5-10 minutes and see what, what carries on then. It's time for these eggs to be fried here in this pan, non-stick pan oil goes in probably about three or four tablespoons full just let that heat up a bit and then we'll stick, stick the uh, eggs in in half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon into the egg give it a 
There we go. There you go. Plonk it into there and give it a stir. Basically, you just need to scramble these. Uh, once they're cooked, then we'll add them after. The, the eggs more or less like scrambled egg, basically. Um, and then we'll just add that in once this is all cooked. There we go. The colour slowly, slowly changing. The potatoes don't take as long as meat, obviously. Uh, if you was to put the eggs in with that, the eggs would get disintegrated. This is why we make them separately uh, until the potatoes are cooked. And then we'll add them in at the end. The coriander goes in now. So that will just get stirred in now. Uh, the colours change quite dramatically now. Right, time for the eggs to go in. Okay, as you can see, they were cooked separately. And now, delicately, we'll just blend them in. This dish is perfect for vegetarians, those that don't eat meat, perfect. In fact, I eat meat and I, I don't mind this dish, I, I enjoy it. Very nice dish. Right guys, time for the prata. The prata is like a, a chapati or a roti. It has butter inside it. So when it's cooked, it's like toasted. So you'll see the demonstration in a minute. The homemade pratas are better than the uh, ones you get in the takeaways and the restaurants, obviously. The food is different at home compared to the takeaways and restaurants. As you can see, just roll it out. It's got the butter in it, in between. Uh, the stuffed pratas are made similarly to this. In between the layers, they, uh, they put whatever they want, you know, for flavouring. And here we go. There you go, straight into the pan. Now, when the when that gets hot and the butter melts, it'll get toasted as well. But she's gonna add in a bit more extra butter. If you have a look at the uh, the eggs, they're coming on nicely now. They're just about done. Just about finished that dish. And we'll be tasting it shortly. And here we go. We'll just wait for this to uh, bubble up a bit and get brown. I'll bring it back to you. As you can see now, the prata is taking shape. That one's prepared. It's gone toasted, brownie colour. That's the close up on it. Okay guys, the final. I've got a bit here just to taste. I'm not quite hungry yet, but I want to taste it for you. So here goes, the Prata's here. Lovely and crispy and there you go. Bismillah. I'll just try this. It's just a bit greasy, but it's supposed to be greasy anyway, but here goes. Bismillah. Very nice. In fact, I'll have a bit more. 